Okay, here's my opinion on mythic items. Um, so I'm gonna be real, real blunt right at the very beginning. I do like them. I really do think that they are a good improvement to the game, and I think overall they were a great idea. Now, there are some things that I very much, you little shit. Get, 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 get. My cat's doing shit. <laughs> Now, there are a few things that I don't like. Um, I think the number one problem is that certain ones, um, well, like how do, how do I put this? They're basically just champions that already exist. Like, which one is it? Ah, here it is here. Imperial Mandate. This is literally just Leona. Passive. But as an item. More like this. This is literally just Leona the passive. <laughs> uh, and like some of these things just already existed. It's just already a thing that happened. <laughs> like a lot of these, honestly. Or like this, the Kraken Slayer. It, it, this is literally just Vain W. Now she's gonna have it twice. So like I, I just I'd like Leona with this thing, and Vain with this thing. It, it it's just gonna be double as strong as it normally should be. <laughs> so there are a few things that I am a little like also curious about, such as that like support. Okay, tank ones. These I really think need. Like, tank and fighter are the ones that I think need the most. Because, like, marksman, just these three. The assassins, yet again, it's just these three. Um, but the mage ones specifically deal with both, with all types of mage. Assassin mages, 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 <laughs> fighter mages, tank mages, like... It, well, I guess, yeah. But, like, see, that's, like, part of the problem where I'm saying the, the tanks, like, all of these have something to do with auto attacks, essentially like what if what if you're an ability based mage i understand this doesn't have something to do with auto attacks it's literally just move speed and then slow you know and like this is after you do using an ability then you have to auto attack um same with like this thing is you use abilities over times and then your auto attacks or your basic attacks do aoe bursts like what if i'm a tank doesn't focus on auto attacks like scion like yeah i understand all tanks auto attack to some extent but like chogath and scion chogath isn't exactly the best example but like scion for the most part you're using abilities on scion you only get like one or two auto attacks in there and like nautilus like same thing for the most part you're using your abilities you're really not using too many or like auto attacking too many times and then, like, same thing with the fighter. Like, I, I don't find this the most useful thing in the world. It's just, like, some of these things are just pretty okay. <laughs> now, the thing that I do love the most is that all of them tell this. They, like, they give, you, give your other items a special things, like give tenacity, slow resist, okay, uh, armor, magic penetration, ability haste which is just cool down reduction armor penetration ability power that just flat out gives ability uh health and increased size move speed ability haste again <laughs> magic penetration attack damage and health uh ability power hmm. interesting uh attack speed ability haste I'm also clicking on these because I'm trying to see for myself. Uh, armor magic resist. Magic penetration. Wait, don't two now give magic penetration? Yeah. Uh, in the mages, that's kind of stupid. But uh, Ability haste. And ability haste. Lethality. Magic. Three different mage items give magic penetration. Really? Okay move speed move speed 
Ability haste, attack speed. <clears throat> I do think there could be a little bit more of a variation in all these things, but at the same time, like that is probably my favorite aspect is that each one of them give a passive to all of your other items. <clears throat> now, the next concern that I have is some of these things like are not really that useful. Like yet again, if I'm Scion, I'm gonna have to pick like a fighter item. And then what fighter item am I gonna get? Trinity Force isn't really going to be that great it can be it would be okay divine sunderer yet again okay gore drinker that one might be a little bit better but just okay and same thing with this just like all of these would kind of be okay then if you go to the tank items like yet again all of this would be okay like sunfire would be the best one for him <laughs> and then if you like look at darius and you picked any of the tanker fight items, like all of them would actually be pretty good. Like Darius would love some increased move speed with these items. He would love frost fire. He would love the sunfire. Like just imagine Darius putting a bleed and doing a big old AOE damage run you every time he auto attacks you because he has this. Yeah, that that'd be great. That'd be so much fun. Like auto attacks, you get health health. This wouldn't really be that great. And he with a gore drinker within Trinity Force. And he would just destroy you. I'm really surprised I haven't seen more Dariuses. And then there's champions like Gnar. Where like Trinity Force is okay on him. Like the only ones, the only options really for Gnar are Trinity Force and Divine Sunderer. But like, what if I wanted to be a tank? Frostfire's okay. Turbo Chem Tank is okay. Sunfire would just be terrible. Like, it would only be useful when you're in Meganar form. And again, like, it is, it's nothing that insane. Oh, I forgot to talk about this, too. Like, this is literally Vel'Koz. It both looks like Vel'Koz, and its passive is literally just Vel'Koz. <laughs> also has the dumbest video I think I've ever seen. Oh, yep, I'm going to keep hitting it, and the aura around me is just going to keep getting bigger, and I can tell they're doing a little bit more damage. But... <laughs> To where like I think there are some champions that are going to use these to the ends of the earth and just do the most ridiculous insane things that are gonna like really just thrive with these new items like as I said like Darius or um and what's the like one person that could use like any of these like Jin is gonna be great like uh J Jin with the gale force or with the immortal shield bow like, either one of these on Jin would be great. This would suck. Kraken Slayer would suck. But, like, this would be great for Vayne or something along that line. And then, like, with mages, there's plenty of different options, as I said, like, depending on what type of mage you want to be. So I think it is a little interesting, to say the least. But I do think overall it is good. But I do wish that they had more of a variety. Um... Like, look at any of the bruises. Attack, damage, health, ability, haste. Attack, damage, health, ability, haste. Health regen, oh boy. <laughs> attack damage, attack speed, health, and ability, haste. Like, there's only one difference. Attack damage, attack speed, health, ability, haste. Like, th th there is literally only one difference between each item. And, like, sometimes the difference is shared. And then, like, this has everything... This is missing just one of those. This is missing just one. Actually, no, this. This has this. These are the literal exact same. The only difference is the effect that they do. <laughs> like, and the only difference here is that this has health regen instead of attack speed. Like, they're, they're all so extremely similar. And I understand it's for fighters. But what yet again, like, what about what about NAR? As I said, Nar can, he's okay with some of these, but it's nothing insane. What about Rek'Sai? Like, the only one of these that I could see Rek'Sai using is this one, the Gore Drinker. Like, Trinity Force would be pretty okay, pretty good. But, like, Divine Sunder would be meh. Stride Breaker would be meh. Like, I guess the slow might be useful. But, like, this would actually be kind of useful to keep Nar, uh, like, Rek'Sai alive. But, like, yet again, like, they, they're okay... They'd be still be good, but they would definitely be just like so much better on other champions. Like as I said, like Darius could use a ton of these, 
or like honestly a champion that his brother that wouldn't really be that great with any of these like the kraken slayer would be good the gale force would be okay like none of the, none of these i guess the mortal shield bow would kind of be the best because of the uh life steal and Dari, uh, like draven's already has a ridiculous amount of life steal like but yet again, all these attack damage, attack speed, critical chance, attack damage, attack speed, critical chance. <laughs> the only difference is right here from the lifesteal. <laughs> That's literally the only difference. I understand, yet again, I understand it's for uh, like the same class of people. It's for the marksmen. What do marksmen want to build? I get it. But at the same time, why not like, I don't understand why they didn't do more of a thing with like regular items like... Uh, like updated when mm. do they not update it i guess they didn't update the item that i was they didn't they didn't change static shiv at all i guess okay but that's like one of the things right there is that like static shiv exists but it didn't do anything with Static Shiv. Or not Static Shiv. Um, Infinity Edge. We're like, why not have something like that where it's just like it's focused entirely on crit. We're like, these, it's literally just different passives. It's like, oh, I get a shield. Oh, I do more damage. Oh, I get a dash. Where maybe make something uh, in like a different area or something a different... Ah, man, I don't know how to describe it. We're just like someone who didn't want to go with the norm like yet again like Jin. Jin's a great one where like make something where their next auto attack is empowered so that Jin could use it on his fourth auto attack or something along that line where but like all of these again like they're just attack damage lethality attack damage lethality ability haste attack damage lethality ability haste the only thing is omnivamp which i'm assuming that's just everything all your damage heals you but uh like i just i just don't like how some of the things are set up like as i said like i, I don't like the fact that the mage items are set up to be all mages which i understand yet again mage but like when i think of a mage i think of ari i think of lissandra i think of um what's it called i think of um Vigor. but what i don't think of a mage is a collie okay a collie would build one of these a collie wouldn't do great with a dust blade a eclipse or a prowler claw none of those would be great in a collie a collie would need one of these i don't know which one a collie would get probably that rocket belt maybe this but oh no, no, she doesn't have mana. Like Night Harvester. Any of these. Like probably Night Harvester. But like that's not something that I think of as a mage. But that's what would have to be used because she builds ability power. And like that's where I think there should be maybe a discrepancy. Like maybe uh, what's the Kog'Maw. Kog'Maw is a, a champion that is a marksman. So he would build one of these. Now, he doesn't have much movement, so Gale Force... Honestly, any of these could really work on Kog'Maw. But that's something where, like, what if I want to build AP Kog'Maw? Okay. Then what am I going to do? Which one, which one of these gives attack speed? Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, that's right. None. Okay, so that's that's something that I'm trying to say. Where I think uh, I do agree that it would be more beneficial if uh, what's it called? Like they had a marksman item that also gave ability power. Now you're probably like, I understand most marksmen, but that would also definitely help uh, Timo. Timo, like give attack speed, give ability power. That would be great. Give ability haste. That's really all you kind of need. Maybe magic penetration, but eh. 
that right there. Like, that would be fantastic had to have any of those things. And then, like, if you want to be, if you are a mage tank, like, you're going to have to build a, a, a tank item. And the only one that would really work at all is turbo chem tank. Like, you're not going to auto attack much for sunfire or for frostfire. You're going to be using your abilities with auto attacks here and there. It'd be much better to just, you know, have a, 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 an actual ability power tank item instead of having forcing them to get something here. Like, they're going to have to get, like, Proto Belt or Everfrost. Like, these are the only things that give health. So, <laughs> Everfrost would probably be the, the best thing for you. Where, the, see, like, that's what I'm trying to say, where, like, there isn't much of a variety in the sense... I will say there definitely is a variety in support because there's items for both. Like, um, like you can hear cl teal close by allies, shields to close by allies, uh, move speed to you and allies, and the ones that increase damage. But then, like, honestly, I don't think any of these are super, like, tank. Like, if you notice, a very few... Yeah, this has magic resistant armor, but I think that's like the only one out of all of these that aren't the tank. See, like health armor magic resist, health armor magic resist, health armor magic resist, and ability. They all have the exact same, but like if you look at any of the bruisers, it's just attack damage and attack speed and health. Not even health. Like, oh, they, there's health. So, yeah, like, and health. That's about it like move speed the, the the tank ones are the only ones that actually give resistances besides this one for support and that's honestly just because like a tank support would be the one to use that <laughs> where like and see that's like another problem that i see where like i understand that you don't want to just flood these things with stats but i don't know like give more of a variety where maybe I, I, one of these items the enemy team has like a major magic comp or a major armor comp so maybe throw in an item here that specifically deals with being auto attacked it's like i understand the only item that like really is like that is thorn mail but something along that line that gives armor like what if i wanted to do ability power and have armor See, that's what I'm just saying. Like, there really isn't that much of a variety between all these things. Everything just kind of flows with its sect. Like, if you're a fighter, you better be an AD fighter. And you can't be certain AD fighters. Okay, well, that's where, I, like, I'm just trying to say, like, there's a bit of an issue here. Like, I, I don't think that the mage items should have everything. They shouldn't be, like, assassins like are more than just ad all these things are ad mages are more than just ability focused things they're assassins they're tanks they're fighters tanks are more than just auto attack run in type things they're some are focusing more on abilities and cc lock maybe he use one of these to help more with cc over like without auto attacks like the frost fire uh the support one is the only one that I think is fine. But, like, Marksman, I feel like it should get something, like, Teemo. Fuck, like, maybe I want to build uh, some weird-ass hybrid build where I have, like, a Vigor that's doing Marksman and, like, gives me crit and attack speed on something with magic power. Or, like, just a t attack speed. Maybe just, or if you really feel like it, you can keep it in the mage area, but then give one of these attack speed. Like, none of these have attack speed, so which one of these was Teemo build? He'd have to build, like, Leandri's Anguish, but that's not going to help his attack speed at all. Or I, I guess he could maybe build, like, Night Harvester or Rift Maker, but... Yet again, I, I don't really know. Like, Teemo really wouldn't do too great with any of these, except for, like, Leandri's. 
<sighs> I just I think that they need more of a variety. But you know, as of right now, I think that they are fine, and I do like the item update so far. But I'm definitely going to be experimenting a lot with a lot of different items, and we'll we'll see. So far, anyway. I also really do like this. I think this is pretty cool. Like, very cool. Item. Is that even an item? Like, it looks like it should be the Eclipse. It definitely is the Eclipse thing because it has the weird design down here. But I can't see the bottom of the Eclipse to tell. And, like, this is a crescent as hell, and this is not as crescent. Plus, this has a little dagger in the front of it where this doesn't have that same stuff so that's not on here but you know that is not an item that is on there though Ooh, no well, there's the little shield thing oh that's one of the new items the demonic stuff but yeah so we'll see what happens i hope you um enjoyed my little spiel <laughs> i'll see you next time